one project where I was like, I can't show any more drawings or paintings right now. I wasn't actually doing any painting at that time, sorry. So I can't, I was like, can't do, show what I've been showing. Mm -hmm. I need to do something. Came up with the idea to hire an actor to impersonate me for a critique. Mm. In kind of challenging, is this the best environment to critique work? Like, I'm seeing the same people come in here and everyone has their own biases and similar point of view. Is this, like, we're in an act, like, does this exist outside? Like, you don't have that kind of sense of critique outside of school. Yeah. And what if someone came in and gave a presentation about pretending to be me about what I've been working on? Okay. <laughs> For the whole time. And, and I'm not and, in the room. And presents what you've done. That's what... That's the word. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so a performative thing, but I'm yeah. not the performer. I've h hired someone to impersonate me. Uh -huh. And then at the end, after he goes through a presentation of some work that I have done, uh -huh. without briefing him on like how to talk about it or what to say, <laughs> just like you come up with what you want to talk about <laughs> in regards to these images. Uh -huh. Then there was an essay, basically kind of like all that I just said. Which like some professors, like I didn't even need the essay. Okay. But everyone, I was so nervous. I did not sleep the night before. I was panicking. Because I was like, I'm, I'm paying to be here. Yeah. But I'm now then paying someone to, <laughs> so I won't be there yeah. as a joke. But it was like, it felt like, like the this most. This is either brilliant or like the dumbest yeah, thing I've ever done. Yeah, and it totally yeah. landed. I was, it's one of the weirder things that it's hard. Like I have to talk about it. I can't just like, here, you know, show yeah. you this thing. Right. Which everything else I pretty much make is like, look. Do you like it uh -huh. or do you not? Yeah. It's like this I have to explain. Happened then, it was done, time-based. Uh, <laughs> it was awesome. Where did you get awesome. the idea? Like, um, So there was like a series of books on contemporary art that I was reading and there was one uh, about jokes and kind of pranksters within the art world because there's different artists that have, they've done that with like a public lecture. They mm. hired someone to impersonate them for that, which I, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> One guy stole a show from another artist, like broke into a space and stole the work and put it in another gallery. Which <laughs> 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 is outlandish. Um, I'm trying to think, Maurizio Catalan is one of the guys that was in there a lot. So it was like, there was that, it was like, okay. what, if, what if I'm a prankster? Okay. Like, is that how I make art in this yeah. context? Uh -huh. And uh, I did that well, that one time. I don't know where else or how else I could do that, but it was a moment. It was wow. a moment. Wow. And then I eventually went back more into visual installation stuff. Yeah. It was like what my thesis show was. And it was still, like you would see this work and maybe make a connection of through form and color is uh -huh. there, but it was object-based. Okay. Um, uh, anyway, okay. yeah. I'm ready to move on from grad school <laughs> from whenever grad school. you are. <laughs> yeah. But feel like nervous again. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's like, yeah. is anyone going to see? Can we move <laughs> <laughs> um, Yeah. Well, oh, and I guess 